but what's <laughs> happening is I'm missing my haircut at the time. It's getting at me, but anyway. We're talking about diagonal Ashi to outside Ashi, finishing mechanics, and why the way I lock the feet is important so that he doesn't get the steam locks. Okay, so I get my inside position. I'm gonna draw him to me, so I bring my knee behind his knee. I push and I pull, and this draws his hip towards me, okay? I'm gonna pull my leg inside, and I settle in on a diagonal Ashi. <clears throat> I connect my chin to my chest and my hands here at this juncture. Alright? When I go this way and make him rotate, either he taps or he rolls. By the way, as we roll right about here, I release and I transfer to this position where I lock my legs. So David needs to come up and hand fight and try to un untangle this knot. Notice that my legs here go behind his waist as he sits up. So this creates a dilemma for him, okay? The dilemma is if he stays flat, I break him. If he comes up to fight my hands, I get my legs locked around the waist, okay? So now, as I come up, he may be coming up looking to bury me underneath and sweep me, per se, and take my back and finish me with a head and arm triangle. But when he comes up, I have to meet him here because I, I cannot allow him to overcome me at this point. Okay, if he overcomes me, he's going to bury me. So here, I have to make sure that I have a solid cross frame, like that, like so. My legs scissor a little bit, just to off balance him. I grab his knee and I pull it back to the medial line, like this. Right? I can't leave these feet out because it exposes myself for an esteem lock here. Okay? So let's come back. So when I'm here like this. I am hiding my legs behind his back as deep as I can, right? And I connect, because if my legs are locked this way, it's easy for him to shrimp, come out, and then he starts to go for his esteema again. So I like to hide this leg behind this one, okay? And I, when I have this knee settled in, right here to the middle line, I use my elbow to hide his toes, and then I go a couple of false grips down and I pull to establish this wedge behind his heel. I use the fulcrum of my forearm over his shin. My chin, my hands, and my heart are connected like so. I can go for this like straight-legged heel hook right here with power from my hips. If he's coming into me and his knee starts to bend more, then it becomes a little bit of a different heel hook. But notice that if his leg is straight in this situation it is, it's more extension as it is me twisting. If his leg is bent, then it's more of a twisting heel hook where I bridge back and around the corner. All right? Now, we're also talking about scenarios where him going for an esteem lock would be disadvantageous for him. All right? So that would be more from a diagonal ashi, right? A pass, not a diagonal ashi. From a cross ashi, I pass, okay? And rather than me staying in this position, where, around this way? Where, where we look for an inverted heel hook. There's a gaping hole here that he can pommel it under in, right? So if, he, if he's proficient at pommeling this through, he can start to dominate this leg and, and get considerable amount of pressure to break and finish. Sometimes I'll even pass the leg and get even more breaking power on this side. Okay, so we have to learn to minimize this hole, all right? So I, I will leave my foot here because here he's not pommeled through. All right, and they call this the honey stick. Okay, so people call this the honey hole, the 411, and whatnot, but, uh, or the saddle, an open saddle or a closed saddle. Okay, closed saddles, I triangle my legs, you know, I have them in the leg lace, his hips come up, and I close it by bringing my foot to this side. That's a closed saddle for a change from the palm. This is an open saddle, but what we're going to do is we're going to bait him with the honey stick here, okay, like 
like this. And now when he goes to fight the bait on this foot, I have so much more breaking power here than he does on this, because there's no real entanglement here. So you can feel that, go ahead. It's like, it's not really a winning race for him. And remember, this is leg locks or shootouts, so this is a scenario where I can get him on the jump, and this cuts him off from hobbling through on that inside position. So the question earlier to me was, do people generally just lock their legs always like both on the same side, meaning, you know, in here or out here? So no, this one's on there and this one's over, right? And I'm like this, in this direction. So that's just a brief synapsis of like sometimes uh, and a sting lock may be beneficial to us, and sometimes it may may not be. So this is this is one exception to the rule where like going for an esteem lock can cause you something. So remember, are they baiting me with this esteem lock for, for uh, an inverted? What should I do here? You should probably look to slip the knee on, turn the toes, get that secondary leg out a little bit, post, 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 my post, 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 and slide away and get your knee out, right? That's really what he wants to do from here if he can't breathe really long, all right? So, Guys, just play with this a little bit, where you're going through it, and you're looking for that estima, and then you can finish with that inverted uh, heel. So look at this though. So he's down, we have, we have to set this up, like we did the outside ashi, the rolling ashi. We're gonna set this up from a diagonal ashi where we just lean back, we pass the leg, and now we cross ashi. Right, because remember the premise today was the three escapes. Escape from diagonal ashi, escape from outside ashi, escape from cross ashi. So his escape from cross ashi is either a repommel or thumb post, which really is an escape of the counter, right? But in this case, I can bait him a bad counter for him, and then I can go for my inverted heel. All right, guys? So look at this. He's already starting to escape. It's hard for me to retain the heel. I may be rolling through. That's another subject. All right. That. Yeah. One. Two. 